Hey everybody, Sarah coming after from Crazy Puckers Poultry Farm and Goats. I'm doing um, a quick bit today on meat chickens versus meat rabbits. So we've done both and I wanted to touch a little bit today on which we're going to go forward with more in the future and which we're going to kind of back off of because it just wasn't as profitable for us and talk a little bit about that. So. We just processed some of our rabbits a few days ago. So what we processed, we processed, we only processed four. Um, we did New Zealand whites and three of them were, I think 13 weeks. And one was a doe that was about a year and a half. So the boys, we knew that they were going to end up being processed um, but the girl I actually got um, with the intention of keeping and putting back into um, a breeding program and we bred her twice and um, both times she ended up um, killing her babies so the first time if they're a first-time mom and they end up killing their babies I kind of let that be almost like a free pass because I feel like a lot of times the first time moms just really aren't sure what to do. But the second time is like, I'm not okay with that. I got my Californian there and her babies in the background. Anyway, um, and it was like to the point where I went out in the morning to feed and she came like hopping out of her nest like she does every morning looking for her treats and she like had a baby in her mouth like mid offing it and eating it and like didn't feel bad about it just like hey how's it going chomp chomp and I was like mm -mm, no we're done here so <clears throat> she was processed as well and um, it went really well now talk a little bit about meat chicken so last year when we did meat chickens we ordered Cornish cross which oh, I feel like that Sun is really we did Cornish cross um, and that was the first time we did Cornish cross um, and so we ordered the Cornish cross, I think in March and the hatchery said, um, they're going to be a little bit delayed, like four weeks. And we're like, okay, four weeks, four weeks is still, four weeks is doable. We can wait four weeks. So you click on, you know, send to you and you can't back out at that point. Like they say very boldly, like once you order, you can't go back. Well, they didn't end up coming until August, and so last year was like the big COVID thing. Everybody was turning into a hippie homesteader, so like their orders were so backlogged, and so by the time we got them, it was the end of August. We live in Michigan. Before it was time to even butcher them, like there were nights it was getting frosty. Um, their growth was really slow. Um, I couldn't move them around in the chicken tractor like I wanted to again for temperature reasons. It was a mess. They had to stay on heat lamps for like ever because it was so late in the season and it was getting cold at night. It was a nightmare. So not to mention your meat chickens like your Cornish cross, they're, they're pretty gross. They're pretty nasty birds. They're really dirty. Like they are meat machines. That is what they are um, genetically modified to be able to do which is eat and eat and eat and grow and grow and if you don't butcher them by a certain time they'll just start to die off like literally they get too fat for their legs their legs will break they'll have heart attacks they'll just start dropping and ours started like just started dying before they were even of size so we ended up having to process and none of them made a decent weight um, we had buyers like on a reserve list that wanted and we couldn't even sell a lot of them because they just didn't even make a decent weight. I didn't feel confident selling this little bird. Here you go. Here's your like little parakeet. Like it was, it was ridiculous. I'm like, never again. We'll go back to doing like heritage breeds, like your red rangers and stuff like that, where it takes longer to grow out, but you can breed at home if you want to. You don't, you know, they're able to reproduce and they're not as disgusting. They don't lay in their own poop and bleh. No. So that being said, we will stick with doing meat rabbits more than the meat chickens. Meat rabbits are so much, so much easier. 
mom does all the work. We leave ours with mom for the first six weeks of life. Six weeks old, we wean them and we take them from mom. We separate by the sex. And then I colony raise boys versus girls until it's butchering time between 12 to 16 weeks. And then they get processed. There's no heat lamps. They're cheaper to feed. We spent so much in feed on meat chickens because they eat so much. Um, where your rabbits don't. And your rabbits, you can also feed greens and hay and, and other stuff like that too. And for us, we garden too, so we've got always lots of, you know, extra greens and and whatever. Um, bunnies are adorable. They're so cute and fuzzy. And for me, I don't have a problem, like, holding them cute and fuzzy and loving on them, knowing the end result. Like, that doesn't bother me. To some people, that really bothers. To me, it really doesn't. So... It's like meat chickens to me are just kind of nasty, um, whereas rabbits, they're, they're just not to me. I don't know. And you get a lot of meat. Um, they're easy to clean. After you um, butcher the rabbits, you're just skinning. We'll do a, a video on that later, not, not on this one. Um, they're super, super easy. Um, I can do one by myself in like five minutes. Like it's just boom and you're done. There's no smell. Like when you process chickens, there's a smell. Um, if you don't have a plucker, you have to pluck by hand, which is just not a whole lot of fun. Um, you gotta put your hand up in cavities to pull everything out. Like it's just not, um, it's not fun. It's not fun. I mean, none of it's fun, but you know what I mean. Um, so I found that uh, the rabbits are a lot easier to do versus chickens. Um, so yeah, that being said, we're going to keep doing the rabbits. Um, one of the cons though of doing the rabbits is, um, at least in my area, and we live in the UP of Michigan, a lot of people are very hesitant to try rabbit meat. I get a lot of pushback, I get a lot of flack back on people. Um, you know, how could you do this? This is inhumane. This is terrible. This is disgusting. Um, when we did meat chickens, nobody said a thing. Nobody batted an eye. Nobody was like, oh my God, this is terrible. It was, how many chickens can I order from you? How quick can I get them? Yes. Now, when I advertise um, the rabbits, people are like, oh my gosh, that is just terrible. Because people are like, how can you eat the Easter bunny? So, that's really the only con that there is. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, yeah, I think the, bi the biggest thing really is that rabbits are just cute and adorable when they're little and um, you can just hold them and snuggle them and, and then you have to take care of things later. But by the time the later comes, they're already kind of, that cuteness is worn off and um, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what else. Um, we try when we're raising our meat rabbits to emulate what life would be like for them. So we don't colony raise everybody. Like I don't, I don't do that. The only time that I colony raise, if you can even call it that, is from the time that they're weaned until they're processed. Um, and again, they're separated by sexes, so there's no accidents because accidents will happen even at that young age. And usually no one is sexually maturing enough where there's fighting or anything like that going on. So they're living together in their groups with their cohorts, just like they would in the wild. And so I have um, like a big stall, like a horse stall that I kind of section off and girls on one side, boys on the other. So um, they're able to stand up, they're able to hop, they're able to jump, they're able to um, move around. They're not um, some, um, we'll put out on the green grass and kind of rotate that way. You know, my belief as an animal owner, and, and I'm not just going to say pet owner, but animal owner as well, is that you should raise them to the best of your ability to have the best life that they can have. And so my feeling is that if I can't give them the best life for a simple 12 to 16 weeks that they're here, then I shouldn't have them. So they're loved, they're respected, they're well taken care of. Um, they're held, they're cuddled, they're, you know, all that stuff. Um, 
because my my feeling is that we just we owe that to them that's kind of our job i mean they're giving the ultimate sacrifice of putting good nutritious food on my table the least i can do for them is make their relatively short life a really happy and enjoyable one and i you know i get that's not palatable for everybody um but this isn't for everybody so just my feeling so enough of my talking and looking at my face um so here we have mama she is a californian and then she has six babies in there and she was bred with a new zealand white so those babies are half and half the first time i've ever had 100 percent an entire litter of boys it's just I'm lucky like that you know um so, and then these cages are smaller with nesting boxes, but I also raise mini wrecks, so not for me. That's just for pets and stuff. So in here, I've got another cage with a nest attached. And again, that's just an example of what they're kept in until they're weaned out six weeks. Then, this is kind of the stall situation I'm talking about here. So it's like, this is an old garage, so it's cement brick on most of the sides, but it's got these wire shelves, and these are too, too tall. Um, is it tied together? Because zip tying is my life. And um, so yeah, when it's not this season, I can use this as a stall um, for goats, because we raise dairy goats. Um, but otherwise, I've got a couple, couple New Zealands here. These are does that um, are going to be used for breeding. So they're just growing up in here and they'll hang out together until these two ladies are 18 weeks I want to say and they'll stay together they get along great we, we're not having any any issues if we were they'd be separated obviously but they'll stay together until it's time to get bred and then they'll be separated and they will go back together again and then they'll be raised on their own so anyway this was supposed to be just about why we chose rabbits over chickens but so that was our choice um, like I said just easier um, cheaper in my opinion I don't like having to fuss with um, heat lamps and stuff like that the less extra electricity I can use the safer I feel and uh, just the better it's just cheaper so um, at the end of the day whether you're doing this on a large scale or a small scale it's about trying to either make or save yourself some money so you know that at the end of the day is really really what it's about and at the end of the day the, the raising up meat chickens ended up costing us a lot more we lost big time out on that so that's just why we did what we did um, if you have any questions go ahead and drop them in the comments below um, please like and subscribe to our channel that really helps us out we talk a lot about um, rabbits goats we raise Anatolian Shepherd dogs, so um, LGD stuff as well, soap making, farm life in general. So, um, yeah, we'd love it if you came on the family and uh, followed us. And, yeah, so hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.